Okay, in this video, we're going to learn how to set up a new conference bridge and manage conference bridges once you have them set up. So I've logged into the Comporium website and I'm currently logged into Sharon's account here. And the reason I'm in Sharon's account right now is because we do need to be able to have the ability to set up a conference bridge and only certain people have that access. If you do have that access, then once you're logged into your profile, you'll see an option here for Meet Me Conferencing on the left side. That's what we're going to click on to get started. Once we're in this menu here, you can go ahead and view the bridges you've set up or that have been assigned to you. You can manage various recordings that can play as people enter or exit the conferences, but let's just look at the basics and go to our conferences link to create a new conference bridge. So at this point we see that there are no bridges currently set up and we would need to click on the add button in order to set up a new bridge. So let's click on the add button. We can use the BC conference bridge because that is the only one that we currently have here. You can give it a title and then skip the account code box. There are no account codes you'll need to set up this conference bridge. You can enter the number of estimated participants, but we can have up to 10 participants in a single conference call. You can also restrict the number of participants if we need to limit it to a certain number. And there are other options here as well. If you would like to make this a secure call, you simply click on the enable security pin option and that will make it so that everyone who calls in also needs to enter a security code. In terms of the time, you can set your start date, and if you choose to leave it as an end date of never, this conference bridge will stay open all the time. And if you need to use it at any point in the future, you can. You just give out the same number and the same access code, and people would be able to call in whenever you need to meet them. Um, if you want to set up a conference bridge that's going to end at a specific date, you just pick the date. I think setting up a conference bridge that never ends is probably a good idea, and you could use that if you need to on the fly, and then setting up new bridges for private conferences individually would also be a good idea um, if you can set them up in time, but you always would have a backup if you set one up that never ends. So we've clicked OK. Now if we ever need to come back here and edit this option, these, these options that we've set up, we can click on the name of it to edit. We can also see the information that we need to provide for people to access the call. So that's all down here under the conference access information area. There's the phone number people would call into, there's the conference ID and the security pin. Now, even though we don't have the moderator, moderator required option checked, it does give us a moderator access number. You'll notice the conference ID or the moderator pin is what's different here versus the conference ID. So the moderator has certain controls over the call. Um, I'll show you that if we do uncheck the enable security pin option and apply that, the information is here but you no longer have a security pin so it does add another layer of security and if you've got something going on that certainly needs to remain private you might consider using that pin otherwise leaving it open is just fine if you have any questions just let us know